we are now starting with the next phytohormone that is ethylene or its IUPAC name is ethene. Now this ethylene, it is a gaseous phytohormone. Gaseous phytohormone. And in plants, it is synthesized or it is prepared by the breakdown of methionine. So in plants, obtained by breakdown of methionine. The site of its production, that means the place where this is produced, are either the cells which are aging or the cells undergoing senescence or ripening fruits. So cells undergoing senescence, that is aging and also the ripening fruits. So these are the two main places or sites where this ethylene or ethene is produced. Now let us talk about the functions of this. And before functions, let us uh, talk about two scientists who gave uh, the specific function of uh, ethylene in plant. One was Sarah Doubt. Who showed the role of ethylene in senescence? And another scientist was Crocker. Who showed the role of ethylene in ripening of fruits? In ripening of fruits. So these were the two scientists who gave these specific uh, roles or explained the two specific roles of ethylene. Now let us come to the functions which are performed by ethylene. The functions of ethylene. The most important function is it promotes senescence that is aging. It promotes senescence. In plants. Second important function is it promotes ripening of fruits. Ripening of fruits. These are the two most important functions which are performed by ethylene but it also participates in many other uh, functions. So according to those functions we have some more uh, on our list. One more important is it helps in increasing the P, uh, petiole length and internode. Increasing length of petiole and internode in the rice plants which have been planted. We know during paddy or rice plantation, the field is completely submerged in water and then those plantlets are placed in that soil. And that is when the internodal or leaf elongation should take place faster so that the leaves can come out of that water surface and can perform photosynthesis. So this is especially in deep water rice plants rice plants or rice, uh, rice seedlings we can say. So the leaves would get elongated because of the petiolar elongation immediately and they would come out of the water surface and would perform photosynthesis. It also promotes or it, we can say it breaks the seed dormancy. It helps in breaking seed dormancy. And it also promotes germination. Promotes
promotes germination and that has been seen in groundnut seeds specifically in groundnut seeds it also promotes sprouting in potato tubers sprouting in potato tubers uh, on the potato tuber there are those scars which are known as the eyes of potatoes and from there the buds they uh, develop very fast if ethylene concentration is more next uh, important function of uh, ethylene or eth sorry ethylene or ethene is seen on the ripening part of the fruits it was observed that when one fruit is ripening and it is placed between unripe fruits then the ripening of those raw fruits takes place at a faster pace and it was observed by the scientists in the beginning when they placed one ripening or ripened orange along with unripe bananas and that application or that function of ethylene is used artificially in the form of a substance called ethephone ethephone is an aqueous solution aqueous solution which gets absorbed by the plants very quickly and it releases ethylene gradually and that is why this is used for artificially ripening the fruits so for ripening of fruits artificially This is done these days very commonly because if you allow the fruit to get ripened on the plant, by the time you pluck it and bring it in the market for selling, it is already you know coming in the stage of getting overripe. So what these farmers or uh, those people who are bringing these raw fruits they do is they pluck the raw fruits and when they have to sell it in the market, then they treat it with ethylene. so those fruits are ripened artificially we can easily identify this difference in natural method the ripening takes place from inside out whereas when ethylene is used the ripening is from outside in if we see the bananas which are ripened by using this artificial method we find that its skin has become yellow and by looking at it it appears as if it is ripened but when we eat it it appears slightly raw so that means the ripening process has taken place, place from outside in this treatment has some more effects on plants we are talking of ethylene though it comes under the function of ethylene because it is the same uh, substance which is getting released from ethylene but ethylene treatment has some more effects it causes thinning of cotton fibers thin thinning of cotton fibers and it also causes thinning of the skin or the shell of walnut thinning of walnut also so this is also an additional effect same ethylene has one more additional effect it promotes formation of female flowers in cucumber so by using this ethylene people are trying to use this ethylene which is released from this ethylene and the main purpose they want to use it is for ripening artificial ripening of the fruits but there are two additional things which have been observed when ethylene is used now though we consider it as a separate thing but we can also include it under the functions of ethylene because 
whatever is happening is actually because of the same phytohormone though it is coming from a commercial uh, synthetic substance that is ethephone and when we talk of only ethylene and its properties or functions we can add one more function here that is of uh, ethylene is it helps or promotes flowering and flower setting in pineapple so this is one phytohormone which is gaseous in nature and in the beginning when we talked about all five phytohormones we divided them into two categories we said some are promoters which promote the cell division cell growth and all those activities and inhibitors which inhibit these processes so in promoters we included auxins cytokinins gibberellins and in inhibitors we had kept abscisic acid this phytohormone comes in both the categories so it is helping in aging process also so here it is actually retardation or reduction in the growth whereas it is also promoting many activities and that is why this ethylene is placed under both the categories for certain properties or functions it acts as a promoter whereas in certain processes it is the inhibitor also so now we are left with only the last phytohormone that is abscisic acid